was, it was crazy. It was around 5.30 Monday morning in San Jose. Surveillance video inside the Remobilizer's shop shows someone pull up and spend several minutes making sure no one is watching them before smashing the glass door and taking out a scooter worth about $2,500. Like a lot of the scooters are um, for people who just can't walk. Uh, either they can't, you know, they, they have trouble getting around. Brian O'Donnell is the owner of Remobilizers. He's in the business for his mom who has polio and faced mobility issues for years. He says the burglary forced him to push back an appointment with a veteran yesterday. Uh, through, through our whole schedule off, I mean, it really throws a lot of my customers off because they rely on us. I mean, if I'm not, if I'm not there, they're, they're not mobile a lot of the times. So. O'Donnell says in the video, you see a passerby scare off the burglar. The guy tries to shove the scooter into his white sedan and has to leave with it hanging out of the door. We're able to uh, set it up with the manufacturer so that they're not going to be able to get parts or anything for it. So it's flagged as a stolen unit now. It's kind of like a VIN number on a car. San Jose police arrived shortly after the thief left and took a report. A detective will be assigned to the case, the burglar still on the loose. O'Donnell hopes the thief is caught, but is glad it wasn't worse. Because I thought he was going to probably go through like our office and you know we've got a lot of like customer files. Um, but we even have some money in our cash drawer, so that could have really affected us. In San Jose, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.